Hi friends, so Angular 11 has been released this week. So we will be taking a look at one of the features in Angular 11, the whole module replacement. I have created a sample Angular application using Angular 11. So let's see what is meant by hot module replacement or HMR. So in order to enable this mode, you can run the application as ng-serve hyphen hyphen HMR. So the application is uh, being served now. So you can see there are some changes in the way the uh, results are being displayed for the bundles generated. This has been form formatted in a table format. And uh, this is an application uh, in which there is a form where I can enter a number and there is a checkbox. So uh, what hot module replacement does is suppose I changed a file inside this application uh, I will show this side by side so I am commenting out this and when I save this you can see that the application has been updated without refreshing the browser page so that the state of the input fields like the uh, the counter here everything is being maintained and even when I change something, it will just update in the background and the current state is being maintained. As you know, the ng-serve command internally makes use of the webpack dev server and when we pass the option HMR to the ng-serve, what it does is it enables the hot flag in the dev server. So when it is enabled, webpack makes use of the hot module replacement plugin which is used for enabling HMR. Now let's take a look at how the HMR module is integrated into the Angular CLI. So they are checking inside the node module whether the hot plugin is available and if it is there, they are accepting it. So accept basically accepts all the changes which are occurring in this uh, module and they have a method called dispose in which we can register a callback so that whenever a change happens, we can do some action. So you can see that they are basically uh, taking all the inputs uh, like input text, text area, text box and select. They are querying them and taking a backup of the values. And after that, they are destroying the entire platform and all the DOM elements and they are recreating it. And once the application is recreated, they are restoring the values from the backup they had taken. So the type of elements which are covered are also given here. Like it includes the checkbox, the text input, and even the select options, they are restoring the original values. So prior to Angular 11 also, the ng-serve had an option called HMR. So let's see what it does so uh, i have created an angular application using angular 10 and let's run the ng serve using the hmr option so you can see that there is a message being displayed that the hmr is enabled but even then you have to do sh do some additional steps in the, in the application code to make it actually work so uh, let's see what happens uh, in the current implementation. So I have opened the application here and I am typing some things and in the meantime I make a change in the code. So you can see that even Though we had enabled the HMR, the browser page actually refreshed and all the state was lost. So for versions 10 and below of Angular, it is recommended to install a mod, uh, npm package called the Angular HMR in order to enable HMR in the application. So you need to install this as a uh, dev dependency, which I have done here. And also, you need to modify the tsconfig app. 
you need to give as node here and also they have provided some code here you need to copy it into your main.ts and the app module.ts so i am doing that now This is the code which they have provided in their website. So this needs to be added in the app module. And these functions need to be added in the main.ts. So, uh, in order to run this only for the development mode we need to add a check here so in case it's a production mode we will just return here so let us take a look at the code which we just added so if we look closely like this is basically the same thing which we do we bootstrap the module and once it is boosted up, we call the HMR module by passing a reference to the ng module and this is the node module global reference. So if you look at the code here in the HMR, uh, Angular HMR, you can see that it's basically what are we saw in the Angular 11 CLI. It accepts the uh, module and it creates some lifecycle hooks which we will be using it in the app module. So inside the app module, we use three lifecycle routes like the HMR on init, HMR on destroy, and HMR after destroy. So whenever a change happens, the HMR on destroy is triggered and basically it uh, destroys all the platform references and the application references and it uh, takes a backup of the inputs and it keeps it inside a store and uh, once it is destroyed it will uh, destroy all the elements and again it will try to re-render it in the HMR on init so uh, once the init is triggered it will restore the input values from the backup and call the application tick. so now let's run the application So I have entered some value here and I will try to make some change here. Now you can see that the application uh, refreshed the view without refreshing the browser page. So basically HMR is working fine. So HMR is a great tool which helps us save time during development. So that's all about HMR. Hope to see you soon. Bye.